Hey guys, so I wanted to step into the editor because there's a lot within the unit that you can't see just from looking at the box itself. Uh, I mean, the device itself. And I, I didn't find anything online that delves yet into this. So a lot of what I was discussing in the previous videos, you can now see firsthand. So on the left here are your your 10 factory presets and you can change them and do whatever you want, right? But what you, what you really wanna see is as you step through, so as you step through, everything you see here is, um, you know, switchable. So I'm going to turn the effects loop, the external effects loop on and off, which is really cool. This little SIG is basically the signal clipping. So it lets you know if you're running too hot. And then this little block is the compressor. And you can see that there's two compressors uh, available to you. I actually don't think the compressor is foot switchable. Um, as far as I know, yeah, okay. Uh, delay. So here's the SDE 3000, and you can see all the uh, settings that you can set. And then there's there's an analog delay, stereo, and single, and pan. Um, so that's that. All right, so reverb. Now what's really cool, I noticed this, is that if you notice here, reverb has two settings. I mean, not two settings, I'm sorry. You can have reverb split, you can either have it completely off um, for the line out and completely off for the speaker out. So that's really cool. It's, it seems to be unique to the reverb um, block that you can actually make a decision as to whether you want it going either way, which is, you know, gives you a lot of flexibility. And there's obviously several different reverbs. Uh, to be honest, I haven't even tried them all yet. Um, so there's a lot to dig into here. Um, and then what's very cool is that the speaker out and the line level out are split in the routing. So this is where you can set them differently. So you can actually EQ each one differently and then that EQ becomes foot switchable, which is really cool. So not only can you turn them on and off for a solo boost or whatever you want to do, but you can actually EQ them differently. So that's very cool. Now, what's also important to note is that unlike the aux, you know, this is an integrated solution where you get all the great effects and digital stuff, but it also applies to your speaker out. Um, which is really cool, you can actually toggle your speaker out level. So if you wanted to kind of uh, bring it down a little bit, keep it in line with what else, whatever else is going on in the room. And then you once again have signal clipping. And then you have, same thing here, line level, output, signal clipping, and such. So that, that kind of covers everything. The only other thing I want to mention is, up here is your amp control on and off. That's your basically amp channel switching. So you can set a preset to be either off or on. So if it's off, it means it's defaulting to your clean channel and on is defaulting to your crunch channel. So what's cool about that, I'm going to go into rig mode on the foot switch. As I toggle these, you can set the on off to whatever you want. Um, so you can actually toggle between channels within a preset, but my point is you can actually have separate rigs. So if you want a clean channel with reverb, but you want an overdrive with delay, you can use the rigs and you can literally just step through the rigs just like you would um, on a foot switch. So I hope this is, um, I hope this was helpful because I think there's a lot that you just can't see um, when you just look at the actual unit itself. All right, see you later.